got his video camera. I went and got some stuff and was going to go ahead and just start doing what I was going to do. But I just want to show you all these rims, right? I just had them mounted and balanced. Y'all saw the outside of them. Now, when you see the back of them, I'm showing to you what they look like now. Y'all see that, right? Just so y'all know. Y'all get a good good understanding of what y'all were just looking at. You know. Tires are good in good shape. The rims are in good shape. But just from them sitting, give me one second. Just from them sitting, they built the rust up on the inside. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean them up. And the next time y'all see these rims, they're going to be a whole big difference. But we're going to still mount them on the back of the truck. So that way we can make sure these adapters are perfect. And that I don't have to do no lift kit, no nothing on this truck. Which I definitely shouldn't have to. You know, so this is what she's looking like right now. Just to, you know, get y'all. This is what she look like now. But the adapters and everything work like they supposed to. Game changer. So give me a minute and I'll get back with y'all in a second. Then again, I ain't gonna get back with y'all in a second. Hopefully I can get my phone to sit up a little bit for me while I am Seeing if these adapters fit. Alright. How many trees? Is any of them gonna be a perfect fit? Voila! We good. Fit perfect. So, there we go. Now, we see the adapters fit. So, we now we're gonna go ahead and take them out and clean it up. Brand new heat gun, never been open. <laughs> This day two on me restoring her wheels. So so far I've I've been working on the one I started last night at some point in time. Um but uh I just went on and wanted to get one of them together. I'll get to that in a second, but I'm gonna actually show you guys what it actually is. Now this is the front of the primer. Now I'm getting ready to go ahead and cover it up and get back to it. So give me a minute. So I'm going to let y'all see some of the process. Y'all have to excuse me. I'm kind of just. But this is the rim that was rusty. Very, very rusty. 
Now I'm taping it up to get good primer and a good coat of gloss. And then let the magic begin. Doing it in little pieces. That way you can get all the way around in there. Quite sure I don't have to explain how to paint to some people. Yeah, you know, quite sure a lot of people don't need my help. You know. But just in case there is a few who do, you know, just take a little piece at a time. It don't hurt. Yeah, not in the marathon, not in the race. You want it done, and you want to do it yourself, you know, sometimes take your time. Still going? Yep, we're still recording. All right, so now we got both of them, both sides good and taped. So now we can go ahead and do our thing. All right, so let me get a different angle. Yep, this is where we at so far. Yeah. Oh, yep. That's, that was the worst one. And this is the other one that just came. It's got to be cleaned up. So, hey man. Let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell. Because we're going up. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and get back to it. And I'm going to put my phone on charger and I'll get back to y'all in a little bit. Peace. Them things all the time. Uh, okay. You're losing, <laughs> oh, you okay? Yeah, that hurt my back. Scare me like that. Uh, well, that's the rim I painted, y'all. That's what it looked like after I was done. So, of course, as you see, they're gonna go all black. <laughs> 